Hi, Cancel. Welcome to Self Discovery Support. This is a reading focused on what you need to pay attention to. And so we're going to start with looking at what's happening now up here, and then we'll move into what you need to pay attention to and um, some advice as well. All right, so we've got the Hangman, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, and Seven of Pentacles in what's happening and I'm drawn immediately to this card at the end which is talking about this period of waiting this period of like gestation Let's see if we can get the, the um, focus on this a bit more okay I think we're gonna have to work with that all right but yeah it's um I feel like there's something that you've been waiting on, um, cancel, like patiently waiting, biding your time, you know, you have been, um, very, it's like a committed energy to whatever this is, but I say whatever, but there's strong indication here that with this two of cups, knight of cups, that this is definitely some kind of, um, connection energy. This is someone that we are thinking about um someone that we do see ourselves partnered with or we had hopes of being partnered with this person there's just like an energy of something coming together so this could even be this for some of you it's somebody that's left for some of you it's somebody new but it does feel like there's um knowledge there's experience of this person with this hangman here this is somebody that we're trying to be patient to grow into a state of um not rushing in trying to grow into a state of acceptance as well about things this is how things are um this is who this person is this is the situation that you find yourself in um i don't know if it feels like a disagreement that's happened here it does feel like you are you could be interested in um talking to this person you know even um tyro is really great at picking up like what's inside so sometimes we don't actually acknowledge that to ourselves like i i don't mind having a conversation or you probably may be open to somebody coming in maybe sometimes it's about waiting on someone to reach a certain type of maturation type of spiritual development before this person is able to to kind of take any action communicate whatever it is they need to towards you but it does feel like you are it feels like you're the oh, with the seven here it feels like you're the wise one in a way it's like you're waiting for this and there's an understanding that you have that this is actually this the the best thing to do at this moment um we also if if we think about the other person in what we're seeing here we're also seeing that there is potentially someone who has also been kind of holding back so you're waiting they're holding back but there is an energy of definitely um either both of you or even if you think it's not both of you just thinking of like hey what if i did this i've held back maybe i've i've there's some transformation that's happened here for someone either or either you or this person and it just feels like this thing has matured this situation has definitely matured and grown all right so let's look at this situation what you need to pay attention to here is we have page of wands ace of swords and eight of swords so a lot of um thought energy where we had a lot of cups emotions here we now have a lot of a kind of excitement this is like a new excitement so okay i i feel like there there could potentially be someone that is, is reaching out to you communicating and also, we might be getting very um, kind of excited about the possibilities here. Um, there's some kind of 
clarity that you're being asked to pay attention to. Make sure that communication is always clear, straight, honest, and gets to the point of what you want to know, what you want to find out, even if it's for um, resolving a situation, even if it's, it's, if it's to get to know someone. Because the thing here is with this Eight of Swords is definitely saying foreground with all this excitement of the new, the possibility, foreground, not keeping things in, right? Clarity over um, holding back is how I would just call this. This is someone who is maybe afraid to express everything, um, puts themselves in a kind of role for how they feel they could or they should function. But I think with this fool energy here, the fool is not necessarily a fool, but it's like bringing in a new beginning, right? It's bringing in a kind of exciting new adventure for yourself and just being able to just wholeheartedly embrace that but all right we'll we'll look at this communication do do be playful though you know like um this is not about being defensive this is about enjoying the opportunity feeling into the energy and the playfulness and even the fun of it if this is someone new returning in a new energy but also keeping an eye on like being discerning as well right in that process you're trying to suss out what's right for you where you can step a little bit out of that boundary if you've been hurt before in a situation or even with this person what where are the places i can plant my feet to move forward all right and we're gonna draw a chakra card for you for cancel what do they last need to know here okay and this is the third eye chakra with the trust trust your intuition it is in contact with a higher source of knowledge okay and i think this is this ace of swords here keep attuned to that cancerian intuition that is so strong and enjoy yourself i hope things work out for you cancel uh this is the reading please do like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this and i hope to have you here again take care